tells me is about, you know, Bruce and Caroline and, you know, <laughs> the times they're shared together, fishing stories, big barrows, of, you know, apple okay, and you, all, all of that. Um, he, he can't talk, you know, highly enough of dogs, so I he's definitely with a, a, a great, you know, family. Um, and yeah, you know, once again, thanks. Uh, I do just have one more story of Trent. Uh, I am now. <laughs> he, he may have turned out into a good bloke, but I'm sure he's still got a few screw loose in the head. <laughs> There was one time we were at, I think it was Robbie's, you heard about him earlier on, and um, it was only a small, you know, suburban kind of yard, and he had like a little fire going. Anyway, there's this deodorant can, once again deodorant. Oh, Max. So, Max. Oh, Max. 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 Nah, you just, just can't good. thank everyone enough. Um, fantastic wedding, great bunch of people. Thanks, Trent. Thanks, Shannon. And, um, thank you. Yeah, Woo. cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Next time, first number. Thank you. I just have a few words to say. Firstly, I want to say, ask, uh, tell Trent and Shannon, it is a very big uh, pleasure for me to be here on their wedding day. Thank you, Bruce and Caroline, to make it. Oh, my English is so bad. I'm from South Africa. <laughs> uh, thank you possible. for making make it possible that I can be here today. And I hope and pray that I will be here when the first little baby comes. Okay? <laughs> I'll give it two years' time. <laughs> All right, good luck to you, my, ba my babies. Trent, thank you for being always so nice to Oma. I love you dearly. And Shannon, you know, you and Jennifer is my whole life. Love thank you, you love you. Love Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Okay, well. Uh, hi, how you going? I'm Nick. Hello, Nick. Um, I keep it short and sweet. I don't really have much prepared, unfortunately. Um, I met Trent back in primary school. Um, I remember just having a sore neck all the time, looking up to him. Most of my fondest memories so far in my life have been with Trent. I remember just after school, always packing a fishing rod, we just collected down, putting out backpacks, and after school, getting out of Athens Weir and just trying to get some fish. But, um, the best we could ever do is try to be a little manager of Jack about the AD. But <laughs> nevertheless, it was a good time. Um, I speak for everyone here when I say I'm really proud of these two people and how we've grown up together. Um, it's definitely changed each other's life and it's definitely for the better. And I just, um, wish them luck on the rest of their journey through life together. Thank Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 Okay. I am so nervous. But, um, okay, so I hate speeches, but I am Shannon's only sister, so I thought I should say something. <laughs> Before we were talking about, like, the auto, who's, like, going to go first or who's going to go second and stuff, and I really wanted to go last, because I thought it would, like, give me time to calm down and, you know, I would have to say something nice, get an idea of other people, what they say, but I kind of realised that everything else has been said. <laughs> so now I have nothing to say. Um, I am so proud of you and everything that you have done and how far you have come. All our years of fighting and arguing and ripping each other's hair out and <laughs> screaming at each other. I am so happy that you have found someone that you love and you cherish for the rest of your life. You are my only sister, my older sister, and I don't know, I'm just extremely proud of you. Um, hold on, I'm going to spend a second. Hopefully I'm trip. We don't have so. I am so thankful that you found an amazing guy like Trent. And I just want to say welcome to the family. I'm so happy that I have you as my brother-in-law now. I want to give you all hugs, please. <laughs> from five years ago, geez, Shannon came home from the movies and she was just like, oh my goodness, I just met the most amazing guy, you know, this, that, blah, blah, blah. 
stuff. And you met on the same day and started dating the same day. And, you know, <laughs> Everything happened on the same day. It's all a relationship, you know. This stuff happens, but I cannot believe that even though you've met on the same day and dated on the same day, you are here now, married and happy. <laughs> And just overall, oh, I don't know, I'm so nervous. I'm like shaking. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Congratulations, my sister, and welcome to the family. Thank you. Hope everyone has a great time. Woo! Jennifer! Woo! Miss Courtney. 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 Congratulations. I love you. No, I love you. Thank you for being my second family too. That's a someone that I can actually love you come to. That's a love you. And you. <laughs> and you. <laughs> and you. You're a nice lad. And lad. you. I'm so oh, interested. And okay. Courtney used to fight over you. And you. Don't you love me? Don't you love me? Don't you love me? Don't you love me? What? And his bag photos and go, oh. She would come to school and brag about you. Oh, I can't. Hey, you can't say things like that. Everything. <laughs> And she'd be like, Courtney, look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this. And there'd be all these new photos. And... Wow. Wow. Well, and you can watch. I can see what it was. This is torture. I've only met you guys. Yeah, let's just say three months ago. Three months ago, when I when Shannon asked me to be her maid of honor, that was wow. I was not expecting that. I got a message from Shannon. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. Someone like her. Yeah, I we went on a big adventure. Yeah. Do you remember that? That was nice. Yeah, it was. She loves you, Erin. Love you, Erin. Hey! Anyway, I'm so proud of you guys, and I didn't expect this to happen. And you're like a fairy tale wedding, and when you guys dance, it's going to be so cute, and it's like going to be. You'd be next. Hopefully, you catch the cake, hey? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll put Erin under pressure, and I'll give it to you, hey? You'll give, the, you'll give the goddess Aaron, and I'll give the bouquet to Courtney, yeah? Yeah, I'm done. Love you. Yeah? He was, he was like... <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I love you, okay? I love you. Okay. <laughs> 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 so good. So good.
like the only young guy that I'm willing to admit is smarter than me. <laughs> and, like, and I've always said that, and I'm, I'm not even embarrassed by it, because he is. And, you know, he's the one that we all call for help when we're stuck, mechanically, vehicle, anything. Like, he's just he's on the ball, and so it um, kind of leads me to my story of the first time I saw him drunk. <laughs> Uh, I'm 21st. Don't go there. Don't go there. <laughs> Don't go there. Yeah, no. Uh, it's pretty good because, like I said, we kind of hold him on a bit of a pedestal. I want to be the last one to corrupt him. And, uh, even getting drunk feels like a bit of a sin. And, uh, and so I was trying to hide from Narelle and took him upstairs. I was feeling a bit sick. Didn't know he was that sick. And, uh, you know, and my good old chap Trent, neck minute he just pops all over the couch, all over the floor, all over everywhere in the living room. Yeah, it just went protect all. And um, takes the clothes off everywhere. Yeah, yeah, he just I strips him. him. Yeah, and so I'm just there, like, oh crap. And um, going downstairs looking for a mop, just trying to sneak looking for a mop, and hoping that Narelle wouldn't find out. But um, she was like, what are you doing? I'm like, oh nothing. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And and then I was thought it was a perfect crime and then over the balconies I was like, where's that mop? <laughs> Trent spews everywhere. <laughs> and, yeah, and then um, yeah, Trent was just sick all night. <laughs> and then Kurt went on with us and you know, it was a happy time. He's a good friend, Trent. But um, yeah, no, beautiful couple, proud of his and you know, you're gonna last forever. So Yay. cheers, Trent and Shannon. Before you go, man, I just want to add to that story. I also remember Trent spewing under the Christmas tree, as well as ripping the toilet seat off of the toilet. Hey, boy, it was. He fixed it. No, I did. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Holy shit. Alright, guys, um, so. Is there anyone else who wants to give speeches? No. We've had enough. I'm going to talk to him. Albert! No, I'm going to talk to you once you can. Yes? I forgot to say the first of the Khan's words you said to me is to oh. teach you. Lucky you, Omar. Omar. Baby, what was Omar. the first word you said? Lacadoodoo. No. Lacadoodoo. No. Fucking links. I just can't say that it's just fucking links. It means fucking links. No, it means. It's meant to be fucking links. Fucking links. It means links. Fucking links. No. Fucking links. Fucking links. Okay, well, if you're coming out to the speech, can we all raise our glass? To Daniel for doing the MC. Thank you, Daniel! To Daniel! Thank you, Daniel! You were stressing out this whole last Thank you, Daniel. months about it, but you've done a good job. Thank you, Daniel! Thanks for having me, Dan. Um, Alright, so now the speeches are done, we're going to go to the cake party. Um, if everyone could please hold off on photos. Just let the photographers and whatnot take the photos first. Once that's done, everyone can go hard and do your thing. Thank you. So that means Trent and Shannon get your ass down there and cut the cake. Okay, I'm making my way. <laughs> Yeah. Uh -huh.